decided to do the human uh, library because a lot of people, we noticed that in our school there are a lot of stereotypes, a lot of prejudices, and people were just basic, basically ignorant. They didn't know about all these different ethnicities and religions. The first step in this project was inviting guest speakers to come and speak to the students. We called and invited 30 people who uh, were able to come to our high school cafeteria and speak to us. Each person chose their own book title. And when the kids of secondary three came in, they each got to choose their own book, which was actually one of our guest speakers. For round one, you have to hold up the checkout slip that you have with the number one on it. And the book will come and sit with you and tell you their story. So listen to the person's story and ask questions. No! Students in groups of four or five got to vote on which category they'd like most to see. Uh, and then once they were ready, they ranked them, you know, first, second, third, and they would see if they were available, like books. So they would rent out these books, which were actually the people, and they would sit down and come tell them about themselves in a very personal situation where you were just sitting at a table and talking. It was very casual and it was really informative because you weren't afraid to ask your questions. Whereas when you're having an assembly and there's a guest speaker, you know, it's a whole auditorium full of people and you can feel a little bit intimidated. It, just, it worked, went really well and I'm very, very thankful and we're all thankful on behalf of Rosemary and I thank Dorothy too because they did their own thing uh, for you to be here. So thank you very much. clarified like your stereotype because they know full well that you heard some it was very well done there was many stories that I would just go around and I would sit and listen to and just to hear what the people had to go through and then we realized how well we have it here it was just really it was a really eye-opening experience even though we live in 2012 there's still people who stereotype them and to being bad people and everything but you get to meet them and they're cool and they you know they're not bad they get good grades everything I know myself, I really found this really illuminating and eye-opening because really sitting down with these people and not feeling scared to ask them my questions or to talk to them about the stereotypes I've heard really allowed me to learn a lot more than I ever thought I would about these people because it's, it's them, they know the best about themselves. I'm not getting it from a textbook and I'm not getting it from a documentary. It's, it's live and it's in person.